Joining us now is Dr. Charles Zeldin, a political science expert from Nova Southeastern University. We just heard from him. Let's uh, hear from him again. And I want to begin with your reaction to the early voting turnout we've seen so far in Florida. Put it in a historical perspective. Well, look at it simple. Uh, we have, what, in Broward County, 70% already have voted. That's where we were uh, two years ago. Actually, four years ago. We were lower than that two years ago. So we're talking, we're hitting levels that we normally would hit, including day of voting. And now what we've got is room for another 100, 150,000, maybe more in Broward and Dade County each to come in and vote. That's a lot of voters. Now, is there something about the turnout based on demographics and geography that makes you think the state is leaning in a particular direction? Uh, hard to say, because for one thing, we don't know how many of those people with an R by their name voted for Biden or a D by their name voted for Trump. What we do know is that the bigger the turnout in South Florida, generally the better it is for the Democrats simply because there are more people who vote Democratic in South Florida than there are in um, other parts of the state. So if we see good numbers in Broward County, in Miami-Dade County, in Palm Beach County, that that's good for Biden. Uh, on the other hand, the president is making a play to try and minimize uh, his losses within those numbers uh, with the African-American community and in particular the Latin community. Uh, you know, it's a question of how successful they are. But generally, Broward County breaks about 70-30 Democrat, and Palm Beach and Miami-Dade break about 60-40 Democrat. Professor Zeldin, how likely do you think it is that we will know the results of this election on election night? I think we will know the vote on election night. We will, we will know 90 plus, maybe even 95 percent of the vote by 11 12 o'clock. What we won't know is necessarily is who won because this is Florida and votes often are close. So the closer the vote, the less likely we are to know who the winner is, even if we have most of the vote counted and, and you know, made available. Okay, and we'll be here for all of it tomorrow. Professor Charles Eldon from Nova Southeastern, thank you very much.